Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss what happens with the volume when we start changing the dimensions. Let us take the following drawing. We know that in order to calculate the volume we say length times breadth times height or we say the area of the base times the height. Now let's take the same drawing but I am changing each dimension by the scale of 2. So if I say I'm changing by the scale of 2, what that means is that I'm multiplying each side by 2. Now the volume is going to equal to, remember the area of the base times the perpendicular height. So here we're going to have 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 6 times 10 which is equal to 360. Now, if you take the first one that we had worked out, it was 45. If you take the new volume over the old volume, you will get 8. And look, the scale was 2, and 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Now, remember, volume is 3 dimension. It's length times breadth times height. That's how come you always write your answer in a cube. So 2 to the power of 3. So if I want to do calculate this without doing an entire calculation, I would have said the original volume, which was 45, and then I would have times it by 2 to the power of 3, which will still give me 360 centimeters cubed. So when they change the scale, what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is, if they change the scale by a factor of k, when we are working with area, the effect is we times it by k squared. When we're working with volume, the effect is that we times it by k cubed. Thank you for watching.